C programming language is considered as the mother of all programming languages present in the software industry. Anywhere you go, C programming language is the most basic and very important aspect which the recruiters are looking for. Hi, this is John from Programming Knowledge and welcome to this video tutorial series where you will learn how to go about programming in C language. In this tutorial, we will discuss mostly the important parts of C programming language. So these are the topics that are included in our C programming language tutorial series. So firstly, we're going to discuss the history of C and then to be followed by the installation of C. So I'm going to guide you through all the steps needed to start about programming in C programming language. To be followed by data types and variables, of course, we're going to discuss the importance of data types and variables in C. And to be followed by C tokens, to be followed by preprocessor directives, and of course, we're going to learn the how to write our first program in C programming language. And of course, to be followed by control structures. So as we all know, if you are coming from other programming language, you already have knowledge on control structures. So we're going to discuss that right here. And then of course, loops. We're going to discuss loops and then pointers and to be followed by functions. And then we're going to learn about uh, escape sequence in C. And after that one will be the data structures. And of course, we're going to discuss strings followed by structures and union to be followed by memory allocation. And lastly is the sorting algorithms so we're going to discuss that also in this particular tutorial series. So now let's talk about the history of C language. So history of C language is interesting to know. Here we are going to discuss a brief history of the C language. C programming language was developed in 1972 by Dennis Ritchie at Bell Laboratories of AT&T or American Telephone and Telegraph located in the USA. Dennis Ritchie is known as the founder of the C language. It was developed to overcome the problems of previous languages such as B, BCPL, and other languages. Initially, C language was developed to be used in Unix operating system. It inherits many features of previous languages such as B and BCPL. C was originally first implemented on the DEC PDP-11 computer. So, PDP-11 is a series of 16-bit mini-computers sold by Digital Equipment Corporation from 1970 into the 1990s. C programming language is known for its flexibility and versatility, allowing maximum control with minimal commands. So, now let's talk about the features of C language. C programming language is the widely used language and it provides many features that we're going to discuss in this particular video. Number one, it is simple. C is a simple language in a sense that it provides a structured approach to break the problems into parts. Number two, machine independent or portable. So unlike assembly language, C programs can be executed on different machines with some machine specific changes. Therefore, C is a machine independent language. Three, Mid-level programming language, although C is intended to do a lo low-level programming, it is used to develop system applications such as kernel, driver, and others. It also supports the features of high programming language, that is why it is known as mid-level language. Number four, structured programming language. C is a structured programming language in a sense that we can break the program into parts using functions, so it is easy to understand and modify. Functions also provide code reusability. Number five, rich library. C language provides a lot of built-in functions that make the development faster. Number six, memory management. It supports the feature of dynamic memory allocation. In C language, we can freely allocate the memory at any time by calling the free function. Number seven, speed. The compilation time and execution time of C language is fast since there are lesser built-in functions and hence the lesser overhead. Number 8. Pointer. C provides the feature of pointers. We can directly interact with the memory by using the pointers. 
We can use pointers for memory, structures, functions, array, and others. Number nine, recursion. In C, we can call the function within the function. It provides code reusability for every function. Recursion enables us to use the approach of backtracking. Number 10, extensible. C language is extensible because it can easily adapt new features. Now that we're done talking about the features and history of C programming language, we can now go to the installation of C in Windows operating system. Now, there are multiple ways we can install C programming language in our computer system. So the most basic way is to install Turbo C in our computer system. Also, if you're familiar with the Eclipse IDE, you can directly download GCC compiler and include C nature to our Eclipse IDE and continue working on executing C programs. As I've said guys, there are multiple ways of installing C program into our computer system and one way of doing it is to install Turbo C++ or you can use the Eclipse IDE and then uh, include the GCC compiler and also you can do it online. There are, uh, there are many platforms that can help you develop C program online. And then one way of doing it is also um, installing code blocks. So if you go to your browser and try to search for code blocks, and then this is the first link that you will get. And it will redirect you to codeblocks.org. And codeblocks is an IDE that will help us to write programs, especially for C, C++, and Fortran IDE. The good thing about codeblocks is it is a cross-platform and open source, meaning we can use it freely to develop our C programs. So the first thing that we're going to need, guys, is to download this, of course, in order for us to install and start writing our C programs. So there are two options here. We can download it from this link. And of course, we can also download it from this particular uh, link here. So let's just try this one, the upper one, and then there are options to download the binary release. We can download the source code and we can also retrieve source code from SVN. Okay. The first thing that we're going to need now is to download the binary release. Okay. You would click on that and here we can see that we can install it on Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. And we can install it also in Linux operating system, be it 32 or 64 bit. And also we can use it on Mac OS X. And because we're using Windows operating system for now, so let's just click on that. And then here we can see all the options or all the links that we can download the uh, code blocks. We can download only the setup. We can only or we can also download the NAN admin, no setup, and then we can also code blocks with this Ming W setup. So if you want, you can download this particular one, code blocks, and then the current version is 17.12 Ming W dash setup dot XESA. And then we can download it from SourceForge or Foss Hub. So try that. And then let's just wait for the download to complete in order for us to install this particular IDE. And then after installation, of course, we can write our first program in C programming language. So currently it is 86.2 MB and then we're just going to wait for a few seconds for the download to complete. And I think it won't take that much time. And we're halfway there. There you go. So we can just install this particular IDE. So click on this. And yes. Next. I agree. And then we don't want to touch anything here. If you are an advanced user, you can 
try to modify the installation but for now since we're uh, beginners let's try to click on next and then install this is the destination folder and then install so there you go installation is complete so do you want to run code blocks now of course yes so gnu's gcc compiler has been detected so that's okay and file associations we are being asked here if we want to associate c and c plus plus files for this particular ide so uh, yes, associate code blocks with C or C++ files and then OK. So there you have it. We now have the installation of code blocks. And in the next video, guys, we're going to start writing our first C program. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thanks.